All right, to start our rock cycle activity, we're going to start off by making some sediment. So I'm going to take these Starburst candies, and I'm just going to cut them into pieces. So I'm going to start by cutting them into strips like this. Just try and cut it. I cut it into four strips, and then each strip can be cut down a couple times just to make some small pieces of sediment out of the Starburst candies. So we're going to do that with all four colors here before we can move on. Like that. So I did the orange, I'm going to do the other colors and then you'll get a chance to see what happens to the sediment when we go to make sedimentary rock. Okay, now that we've got all the sediment broken, we have our weathering process happen, now it's time for the erosion. So when the erosion happens, that's where the sediment gets carried away. So it's carried away and now it's going to be deposited together here. Okay, so now it's all been deposited. After the deposition takes place, we have compaction. So what we're going to do is we're going to compact these together to make one rock. We're going to take the sediment and we're just going to squeeze it together to get that compaction and cementation process happening. Alright, now that our cementation and compaction process is done, we have a sedimentary rock. Okay, well now we're going to try and take this sedimentary rock and turn it into a metamorphic rock. So remember that metamorphic rocks require heat and pressure. So to provide that heat, okay, we're going to just take a plastic Ziploc bag like this. We don't get too terribly sticky. Okay and we're just going to go back and forth for a little while to provide that heat just to get it so the candy is more pliable and easier to work with. Okay, now that I've got it kind of soft and pliable, I'm going to leave it in the bag like that and I'm just going to take a couple of books I'm just going to place those books on top and I'm going to apply some pressure. Then I'm going to take that out. See how it's changed. I'm going to fold it and I'm going to put it back and I'm going to apply more pressure. Remember, when those rocks change inside the earth to metamorphic, they get that heat and pressure pushing on it that change those minerals and change that structure of your rock. So now here I have a metamorphic rock. Okay, now that we have our metamorphic rock made, we're going to try and turn that into an igneous rock. Now we know that igneous rock is formed from lava or magma that cools and hardens. So we're going to have to melt our igneous rock. So I'm going to take a piece of foil and I'm going to turn it into a little bowl or a boat. Okay, just form up the edges a little bit on it to make a nice little bowl that I can put my igneous rock in. Now I'm going to use a hot plate so I'll be very careful with the hot plates and we're going to melt the rock down on the hot plate. Okay, now that we have our metamorphic rock in our boat, I put it on the hot plate. And you can see that it's starting to bubble a little bit. Okay, uh, some hot plates may take longer than others, some may not melt as evenly as others, so you may have to play around with it and rotate it a little bit to make sure you get some even melting. But we're just going to turn this into lava. Um, so we can make our igneous rock. So 
can see we're starting to melt pretty good here. We're getting some pretty even melting. Make sure you use tongs if you're going to touch it to turn it like I am. I've got my nice tongs here. Do not touch the foil or the hot plate. Oh my god. Or especially the candy. Candy is very hot. All right, now that we have our magma bubbling up real good, it's all melted nice and evenly. We can take it off the hot plate and let it cool. And when it cools and hardens, we'll have igneous rock. So I'm going to take it off the hot plate. Let it cool. All right, once your magma or lava cools, it turned into a solid piece of igneous rock. So you can tear it out of there. And now you have a solid piece of igneous rock. And now we could make that sediment and we could press that together and we could get some heat and pressure on it or turn it into a metamorphic rock. Or we could melt it again and let it cool and let it become another igneous rock. Um, and that's how the rock cycle works. They can all turn into each other.